Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 20 of Let's Play Xenogears. Alright, I think it's time to continue on to see what happens next after that debacle with that strange gear. Yes, I will continue the game. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> Was I going to end the episode 20 seconds in? You know I'm not like that. Now play Freebird! Kaiser! We have some news! Yes! We investigated the cause of the recent explosion at the Southern Ave border. Our data showed a large amount of radiation was released at the epicenter. It's probably caused by an overload of a battleship class slave generator. The cause of this is still unknown. The shockwaves from that explosion took out two-thirds of the Ave and Gebler forces combined. Now Ave is in the process of regrouping the reserve units, but that should take at least several days. Concerning your order, the scouts have arrived at the area you requested. Found it, eh? Yes, sir. I see. We know the gear found was stolen from the 11th base by the Gebler unit in Ave. And in the investigation of the machine, we also caught the unconscious pilot. The seized gear has been transported to the capital. From the circumstances, we believe information was leaked to Ave. How can you say that? All the gears except this were destroyed at Lahan. Judging from the ID signal, this was this one wasn't with Ave, but was part of a pirate group. Pirates? You mean the young prince? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. We're now analyzing the combat data. However, we've discovered some black box boxes which are likely to delay the analysis. Black boxes? That gear wasn't made by us. The stock body was brought in by them. So that's it. I play the piano just by moving my hand two frames at a time. Uh, Kaiser? What? Should we begin an assault on Ave? Are you trying to destroy Kislev? Huh? Indeed, it would be easy to take down Ave. But it would exhaust our resources also. But we can't afford to miss this chance. Even if we beat Shakan, Solaris would only replace him with another puppet. What if we exhausted our resources and found ourselves under attack? Anyway, we must still be concerned with Nissan. There's nothing to gain by doing anything now. Excuse me! Can't I just play in peace? <laughs> it seems they have arrived. I'm just staring at this random box that I don't know what's in it. Okay, I don't know about you, but that structure kind of looks like a butt plug. <laughs> Like, what is it? A flying ship? Or is it just, like, a land cruiser? It's the weirdest looking shape I've ever seen. Also, it appears they have a really, really large hangar. these guys well, they're definitely with Kislev but are all of them with them is that it yes if you use that you can pass through the barrier you will be free to go where and when you please 
That man. What was it? Groff? Is he around? He's rather busy now. I was assigned to be his representative. I will ask you this once. Why do you help us? Who are you people? I've told you before. I simply wish to observe what is in store for the world. There are so many things you people must know. I am merely your guide. I cannot directly assist you. How you use it is entirely up to you. So you're telling me you do not require any recom recompense? Let me see. Well then, how about this? Well, I must go. I wonder what she even said. <laughs> but, what a strange thing to ask for. What did she say? They want me to transfer that gear we captured and its pilot to D-Block. D-Block? wonder why. I don't know either. But we still owe them a favor. We just can't deny them. So see to it. Yes, sir. Looks like Faye hasn't woke up yet. Ha ha ha. That shadow is just going all over the place, you see that? Just constantly rotating clockwise around them. Of course we're getting some flashbacks to life back at Lahan. At least I think that's Lahan. No, he, he wasn't a kid when he was in Lahan. Since those be his old hometown. At least he had a pretty good life playing ball with his mom. <laughs> oh no, I missed the ball. Oh, I got it. Nope, oh, keep slipping away from me. Oh, oh, never mind, I curved it. It's all good. Ma, you suck at kicking the ball at me. <laughs> Looks like it's just reliving the same sequence. Where am I? You shouldn't be here. Where am I? Good! You've finally woken up! You have been unconscious for four days, so I've begun to fear the worst. Who are you? And where am I? How did I get here? Ah! Ugh! You've only just gained consciousness, so don't push yourself too much. I am a doctor. You are in Nortun, the Imperial capital of Kislev. This is the detention area for criminals, commonly known as D-Block. Detention area for criminals? We call it D-Block because D is for detention. It was literally that simple. You are now in the living quarters for prisoners in D-Block. Judging by the way you were brought here under the heavy guard of the Kislev army, you are no ordinary criminal. Huh? 
was to say I'm a criminal at all. Oh, look, what good timing. Prince Charming has woke up. This may be sudden, but you have to come along with us. Not the baptismal ceremony. The patient's only just awoke. It is unthinkable that you would try and suddenly carry out, carry out your baptismal ceremony on him. Come off it. Just a sec. That guy's been thrown in here as a crib, ain't he? You should be thanking us for having the kind of compassionate art to let him rest up a few days. Yeah, that's right. As long as he's come here as a crim, he's gotta follow the rules. That's the way it is. So without further ado, we'll borrow him for a while. Don't worry, we'll return him to you straight away. Once we're through with him, that is. You don't have a choice in this. If you oppose us, the fair doctor will cop it too. Okay, I'll do what you want. I am so sorry. I can't go against the battlers. Please forgive me. Oh, what a sensible lad. That saves us a lot of bit, bit of trouble. Anyway, come along now. The champ is waiting. Don't worry, we'll let you return here soon. Hurry up then. Forward march! Oh, so much for getting to save the game just yet. Okay, this room is actually pretty nice compared to the rest of it. <laughs> Champ, we brought him to you. A man called Champ. Thanks, Suzarn. Hmm. So you're the new inmate. Wow, you really look like Ganondorf here if he was, like, a street fighter. We don't know or care what you did get put in here, but welcome to D-Block. So what name do you go by? I am Fave Fong Wong. And what's your name? I know it's not really Champ, but better than Beloved Slacker. I at least have the right to know that much. Why you... How insolent! Calm down, Suzarn. I don't mind. The name's Rico. Kid, it's good to have guts, if it's the real thing. We know it's a bit sudden, but we need to see how strong you really are. Heinrich! Vargas! Leonardo! Suzarn! Let's begin his baptism! Take him outside! <laughs> Alright. Hope you got some good water. Oh wow, this place definitely looks like a dump. <laughs> we even got the finest safe monolith, too. Kid, you're up front. Now, I think you got the idea, but I'll tell you anyway. All the criminals sent here are each given a rank. Deciding what rank you are is easy. You get your rank by fighting these four battlers. Relax. The fights are one-on-one. -on -one. By now, you should have realized. Results are everything. If you're gonna feed these four battlers, you'll be promised a certain amount of freedom. Then, let the fights begin! That's what I like to say, but even we have some compassion. We'll give you some time. Even though it's one-on-one, -on -one, you still have to fight all four. You should get prepared for the battle. And one more thing. Don't even think about trying to get away from here. After all, that's an impossibility. That sounds like a threat to me. Alright, so we might as well save. At least they're compassionate enough to do that. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that now. It's gonna be so weird not having our allies anymore. Sucks. <laughs> let's take a look at my equipment. Am I comfortable with what I have? I mean, I got this kind of stuff, so you know what? Yeah. 
Yeah, I think I'm good with what I have. Do I? I don't have a better hat, do I? No. I didn't think I did. I have, like, inner healing, healing and iron valor if I need it. Which would be good for buffing attack power. I like that. Alright, let's go. Hey, are you ready? Let's rock. Champ, he's ready for his baptismal ceremony. Huh. Then let it begin. Your first opponent will be Leonardo. Alright, let's go. I would like to end this fight pretty early, so it won't be a good idea. Use Iron Valor. If I can increase my attack, I should be able to finish this early. Only 18 damage? You know what? That's not gonna be an issue. And it looks like I can use items during this, too. I guess we'll use Hagan. Oh, wait. Oh, he's still in it. Glad I beat his ass. <laughs> Send red suit time. Oh, he hasn't quit yet. Good for him. Hold 10. I think this one should do more damage because it uses 6 AP. Ooh, wow, I got the level 30 right there. And I learned 10 boo. Ooh, can't wait to test that out. To have lost a someone has just recovered. Sadness. Huh. How's the next one? Alright, who's next? Oh, looks like another one of these. They look the same. Can't really mix it up on their looks. Heinrich. Oh, wow. Almost like a power bomb. All right, here's ten. Triangle square X. That's pretty rad. I like it. No sense to be saving up combos. This fight's soon about to end. Oof, he got beat fast. Alright, so I'm guessing next would be Vargas? Gah, uh, how could I have... Hmm, entertaining! How's the next one? Alright, same strategy as before. Doesn't look like these guys do anything different, except, you know, maybe add a couple extra attacks. Let's say it like this. Good old Tenbu. Okay, you know what? That's not terrible. Wait, he gets to attack again? Either he's fast, or that was a counter I just dealt with. I'm thinking inner healing should be used now. <laughs> I'm taking a nice chunk of damage. <laughs> I 
let's just save up some AP for a while. So it looks like he's mostly doing weak attacks. I wonder if he's like doing a lot of damage when I do a lot of damage. So the next time I hit him, it should be the finishing blow. That seems to be what I'm noticing. Like, when I use that death blow, that's when he actually did a pretty nasty set of attacks. Yeah, maybe he counters every hit. And it just measures based on the amount of damage. Do I have a lot of EP? You know what, I got enough. Inner healing only costs two. So let's finish him off now. Now I wonder if he actually do a, will do a terrible lot of damage if I just decided to use a combo. Got him. Okay, that was not a tough battle. Huh. I'll get you for this someday. Not bad. No one's defeated Vargas and Suzarn. Now for the last one. You think you can win? Alright, bring it on, Suzarn. Oh, it looks like a she! Alright, I better use Iron Valor. Better get that buff. What? I just lost all my EP right there. What the hell? Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, did I just lose half my HP? I did. Okay, looks like it does half HP each hit. So that's not too bad then. Unless she has an attack that does, like, say... Okay, that might be the time to make sure I heal before I'm at 1 HP. So that might be the only way I can die. So I may not bother waste uh, healing items. I should probably just go for a combo now. Actually, you know what? Let's not do the combo yet. Really? The one time I didn't use triangle and of course it's a mess. Alright, full AP. This should get me a nice combo. But will it be enough to beat her? Nice hat though. And... done. Ooh, a metal jacket! Nice to get some new armor. Ridiculous! Even I lost to you! You've defeated all four! Huh! This is an unexpected outcome. Let me give you the special treatment. I, myself, will be your final opponent. Enough! There's no purpose in doing this! I have nothing to do with you! No need for a reason. This is the D-Block tradition. We must determine the pecking order. Get ready! Well, I hope I didn't need my EP or anything. God, 
my hand is just as his I'll hand is just almost bigger than my head. Best you can do. Is that all you could do? What? Don't you want to fight? Good. God. What's wrong? If you don't resist, I'll end up breaking your neck. N no. Hmm. What's that? I can't hear you. No, I won't fight. Huh. Well then, this is the end. Go. Uh. Uh. Out of the way. What? I. I. Go. Oh. Haha, <laughs> that's more like it. You're quite good. You're the first one to ever injure me. No, I don't have to hold back. I'm looking forward to this. I just keep headbutting him in the chest. Steel body. Oh, his defense is up. That is not what I need right now. Steel fist! I think I'm gonna lose this one. Well, it's a good thing I never bothered to heal, because that would have been a waste. As soon as I saw I was doing only one damage, I was like, eh, there's no way I can win. A bit tough. Well, a win is a win. Your rank is A. Didn't you hear? Take him back to his quarters. And don't forget that one thing. Well, I better get a good quarter since I'm in A rank. <laughs> Can you turn down the battle music? It's too loud. Ugh. Where am I this time? <coughs> You're in the same place, just in a different room. You've had a rough day, huh? Ah, oh, it's you? It looks like I needed your assistance again, huh? Yes, but don't worry. I don't mind. It's my job. Anyway, how do you feel? Hmm? Ah. Uh, I'm in a bit of pain, but nothing I can't cope with. Lately, I've been getting used to this kind of thing. Ah. Last thing I remember was those guys speaking of what rank they think I'm worthy of. Oh! I think I better tell you about that. What? You know what rank I am? You're quite strong, aren't you? To defeat four people in your condition, it's no wonder they gave you rank A. But to go up against a champ? It's amazing that you came back alive at all. The fight was meaningless. I had no reason to. I didn't want to fight. What happened? You look a bit pale. It's nothing. Don't worry. By the way, what's this thing around my neck? Oh, that? It's a bomb. The moment you leave the vicinity of the Imperial capital, that collar goes boom. Too bad. But while you have that on, you will never be able to escape from Nortune. Apart from the civilians of D-Block and a select few battlers, everybody has to wear them. Here in D-Block, that is the only chain that binds the prisoners. Huh? A bomb? So no matter how much I struggle, I'll never escape from here? Anyway, you should try and get some rest today. You'll have to get used to life in this town soon, too. It's like something out of Saw.
All right, well, I guess I can wear a metal jacket to go with my bomb collar. How good is it compared to the Iron Mail, though? Oh, it's actually eight points better. I like it. That is pretty substantial. I like that. How do you feel? If you need a rest, you can always lie down in the next room. Oh, well, thanks. Much appreciated. You don't know a bomb expert, do you? So I can get out of this damn place? Well, at least I didn't attach a chain to it. <laughs> I'd have to get on all fours. That would be embarrassing. Alright, so let's save. This is a good point to end the episode, but first... Why don't we just go ahead and take a look at our death blows now? Okay, I still got a little work to go on Ryujin. Which I believe is Square Triangle X. So I gotta put a little bit more points in that. But I may not be at the right level to even use it anyway. Still like to get that points up to 100. So when I do level up, I'll have it ready. And I still only have two of no three abilities. Alright, next episode we gotta get used to life in Nortoon. Oh, that's gonna be great. Oh, somebody left their laundry there. See you everyone, thanks for watching.